Welcome dear friends for another exciting video on process engineering subject. Today we are going to learn Gibbs reactors in Aspen Heises. So in the end of this tutorial you will be able to define equilibrium reaction in Heises and finally how we can find equilibrium conversion of a reaction uh, in Heises. So to, to understand these two uh, subjects we are going to solve a problem and uh, but before that uh, just I want to tell you what exactly Gibbs reactor is. Gibbs reactor is actually a very simple or the simplest reactor model for which uh, reaction equilibrium is calculated by minimizing the Gibbs free energy at specified temperature and pressure or we can say maximizing the entropy at the specified given condition those are pressure and the heat duty so this is the principle of gibbs reactor and usually gibbs reactors are used when you do not uh, have much information uh, about your reaction for example you don't know the stoichiometry you don't know the uh, 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 different uh, intermediate reaction which are going to happen but Gibbs reactor just estimate the uh, the, uh, the reaction by minimizing the Gibbs uh, uh, Gibbs free energy okay so let's uh, go to the problem statement today we are going to solve methane steam reforming problem for hydrogen production it's an other uh, famous reaction and its equilibrium reaction so methane reacts with uh, steam at high temperature and pressure the usual temperature is around 800 degrees C and pressure uh, is 20 bar so it reacts with steam and produce carbon monoxide and hydrogen so 100 k mol feed that is consist of 40% methane and 60% steam enter into the reactor and we are assuming there is no pressure drop inside the reactor and uh, this reaction is a uh, uh, vapor phase reaction. We have to find equilibrium conversion of methane and the production of hydrogen. So this is our uh, problem. Uh, let's move to the high seas to solve this problem. So the first step is we have to define components which are going to participate in chemical reaction. So in this case, uh, the first one is methane and the second one is water and the third one is carbon monoxide and uh, the fourth one is hydrogen. Okay, so we define the component. After that, we have to select fluid packages for thermodynamic property estimation. And for that, we are going to use again Ping Rubinson as a property package. Okay, so the next step is we have to define reaction. So go to the reaction, add a new reaction. And the reaction type is equilibrium because we want to know the equilibrium conversion for this reaction at the given conditions. Okay, so just add equilibrium reaction, cancel it, double click on this reaction, now add the component. So methane, steam, carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Well, uh, now we have to define stoichiometric coefficient. So minus one mole of methane reacts one mole of steam and produce one mole of carbon monoxide and three mole of hydrogen. Okay. So the uh, uh, stoichiometry is uh, okay. And uh, the, act the phase is vapor phase. And the basis here is activity, so we are not going to change it. But for example, uh, there is another option in high seas. Go to the library. There are many reactions 
uh, you can use any of them and uh, all the required parameters will be filled in all the uh, feeds uh, according to according to the given data from the high c so it's a it's a nice tool to practice for different reaction how they behave at different temperature and pressure okay so uh, after defining the equilibrium reaction close this window and now you have to attach this reaction with a fluid package okay so we we attach the re uh, reaction set with uh, 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 thermodynamic property package so now we are ready to build simulation go to the simulation tab and from the model uh, palette uh, window go to the reactors and from reactor select gives reactor and drop it into the uh, flow sheet canvas double click on it okay and now uh, um, specify the streams that is feed and this one is vapor product this one is liquid product okay and after that just uh, go to the reactions and here it says gives reactions only so uh, if you do not have the stoichiometry of the reaction and then you don't need even to specify the reaction in property package then you just simply select gives reactions only and it will solve but we have uh stoichiometry and equilibrium reaction so we just specify here uh, equilibrium reaction and now we have to give the reaction set that we defined in uh, property uh, properties uh, uh, environment okay so after doing this close this tab now go to the feed section and uh, we know that the feed pressure is 20 bar and 800 degree c uh, temperature so 800 degree c temperature and uh, 20 bar so 20 bar is pressure and the molar flow rate is 100 k mol per hour next is go to the composition and methane is 0 0.4 mole fraction and steam is 0 0.6 and uh, carbon monoxide and hydrogen are products so they will not be present in the uh, feed stream just press ok and close this one so the the, the simulation is already solved or converged okay so uh, just double click on the gibbs reactor go to the flow work uh, worksheet and see either the product is vapor or liquid so you can see in liquid stream everything is zero so there is nothing uh, that passes through the liquid stream so the reaction is uh, uh vapor phase so in vapor stream we have 110.2 mole but if we see the mass flow rate so the mass balance is okay but the mole why these moles are uh, uh, increase in mole is happening because it's the chemical reaction and uh, two mole is producing actually four mole of the product so in that the hydrogen uh, is is being produced uh, three times okay so uh, another important fact another important fact that we want to see here is uh, 800 degree c is the feed and uh, but but you can see the temperature in the vapor so it is decreasing uh, these things tells us that this reaction is endothermic reaction so uh, if we want to enhance 
the conversion of methane for this reaction we must have to deliver energy to maintain the temperature at 800 degree C and then you will see the conversion will be higher okay so let's calculate the conversion of methane for this case go to the compositions and now open calculate so let's calculate the methane conversion for this case so the methane entering mole fraction that is 0 0.4 minus leaving into the uh, product methane in the product 0 0.3169 and divided by entering in the feed that is 0 0.4 and multiply by 100 so the methane conversion at these conditions uh, the equilibrium methane conversion at uh, these conditions that are actually uh, the adiabatic conditions it's around 20 point uh, 20 percent so we can say 20 percent okay now uh, just close this one and now we are going to change uh, another thing and we'll see uh, the the effect uh, of the energy and uh, energy input energy i am going i just uh, create a stream energy okay and we see because initially the the reaction was adiabatic uh, in at, at adiabatic conditions and now it is going to happen at isothermal condition for that go to the vapor product and here in temperature just add the temperature of feed that is 800 degree C okay so when I add the simulation is already converged and if you see the energy stream to maintain the temperature we have to add 4.78 into 10 raised to power 6 kilojoule per hour heat into the reaction okay and again double click on the uh, reactor and go to the worksheet and go to the compositions and now we are going to calculate the conversion again for methane so the uh, mole fraction of methane in feed minus mole fraction of methane in product that is this and divided by mole fraction of methane in feed and multiply by 100 so you can see that if the reaction happens at uh, adiabatic condition the equilibrium conversion for steam reforming reaction was almost 20 percent and when you per add the heat and uh, the reaction happens at isothermal conditions then the conversion that is the equilibrium conversion for steam reforming reaction is around 66 percent so that's all for today's lecture and i hope you understand and enjoyed it if you like my content please don't forget to like subscribe and share my channel until next video take care bye bye